Yes, dude, it's filmed before a live studio audience. Just for being late, I'm sorry. I don't have to apologize for that. I'd uh, apologize for that tie, though. <laughs> well, I got this tie when I was in your closet. Listen, uh, I don't care whose closet it was. I'm just glad that you came out. <laughs> And we've got a hell of a show for you this week. Uh, movie talk. We're going to talk movies in a bit. And our buddy Pete is uh, hes a real tastemaker. He is. Uh, he's kind of got his finger on the pulse of everything that's cool and happening right now. So we're going to check in with him. Um, and he's going to tell us kind of what we can expect in all the latest trends in the months to come. Yeah. And uh, I am proud to say that our first guests ever, a band called Ha Ha Tonka, on the show this week. That's right. They're a great band from the Midwest. Um, and think they're basically like celebrities. Things are yeah, going really, yeah. really well for them. Uh, they're not not quite as famous as like Kevin and obviously not as famous as me but good things are happening and we're really happy to have them well, here. Back that up for just one second. They're, they're not yeah. as famous as Tim so they're obviously not as famous as Kevin. I'm a little more famous than you Tim. I had my own show on MTV. You gotta be kidding me. You, you know what I do for a living don't you? Yeah, you're in Ludo. You're in a band called Ludo. You're one of what, like nine guys in Ludo? Actually, there's four of us. You should check it out. Uh, four. Uh, we're all all over the internet. MTV, Tim. Um, Every day un for a year. Unlike you, I know. I, I mean, we can. I have my own show on MTV. We can compare Facebook. Friends. Anyway, Haha Talk is on the show a little later. Here's a clip. I have not. I pooped in the creek. It's time once again for movie talk. I know I'm a little uh, little behind the times on this one, not necessarily a new movie, but uh, but I just watched the film Seven Pounds with uh, Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Seven. What? Seven. Uh, seven is with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Seven Pounds is that Will Smith movie. I know Seven Pounds is that Will Smith movie. I just watched it with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Apologize to me. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. What uh, what did you think of the movie? Oh, I don't know. I fell asleep. Kevin and I, much like our uh, Yes to Viewing audience, are always trying to keep up with uh, what's cool, what's what's the latest, and, and typically we always go to one source for that. Pete! Our friend Pete is a very smart man. He knows a lot about a lot. Whenever we're in need of information, we generally turn to Pete. So we thought it'd be a good idea to send a Yes to camera crew out to the streets of New York City to, uh, to see what people are talking about, to see what people want to know more about. So we did that. We ran it all by Pete. What he's got to say is pretty impressive. So if you want to know what's going on, what's hot and what's not, check this out. We call it Yes Dude, No Dude with Pete. What about Queen Latifah? I love her. I, I say yes to. Hey Pete, how about the new 21 Jump Street? No, no dude. Hey Pete, how about the conflict in Rwanda? Well, obviously no dude is awful. What about the movie Fargo? The best film <laughs> in the history of cinema. Yes, dude. What about Broccoli Rock? Yes, dude. <laughs> What about fire engines? Oh, yes, dude. Hey, Pete, what about v-neck t-shirts? Oh, yes, dude. Last week, uh, during the show, episode three, we, uh, we mentioned the fact that we created a Yes Dude Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash TV, and uh, we, we blatantly asked people to go like our page. Yeah, and some of you did, some of you have not yet, but we need you guys to. We are in a very direct competition with the show Yes Dear. We would like to have more Facebook fans than they do. And I, I think it's time to up the ante. For everyone that likes our Facebook page in the next week, yeah. We're going to send you a free Yes Dude shirt. Yeah, we absolutely will. Um, so just take a minute right now, like it, facebook.com slash TV. We will send you a free t-shirt. Yep. And I will always love you. Something very tragic happened. 
happened recently. Uh, Whitney Houston passed away, and we're all very sad about Whitney Houston. I was actually with this guy the night that it happened, and I didn't know why he was getting flooded with phone calls, texts, and emails. So he told me this story. I happen to be known in my circle of friends uh, for this story. About 10 years ago, on a, I was in college. I DJed at a dance club uh, at the University of Missouri. There was a rumor this particular day that Whitney Houston had passed away. Everyone was talking about it. This was before smartphones. There was no way to, to check this out or to verify it. Went to work that day, tried to find something on television. It was just a few days after 9-11, so no one was talking about it. Um, so I, I thought it's, it's my, my night to, to pay tribute to Whitney Houston. Gathered all the Whitney Houston music I possibly could. And this is at a dance club where typically they're playing house music and hardcore rap and R&B, uh, and I was playing Whitney Houston songs, two to three songs. I was breaking the news to people uh, throughout the evening. Uh, by the end of the night, I had a dance floor of about 500 people. People were arm in arm paying tribute to Whitney. I closed the night with uh, The Greatest Love of All and I Will Always Love You back to back. Everybody was singing along. It was a very moving tribute to someone I liked very, very much. Went home that night, uh, got online to E! News, and there was a huge banner across the top that said, Whitney Houston is not dead. Hi, Hi we're Hot Hot Tonka, and you're watching Yes Dude. Now it is time for the first guest we've ever had on Yes Dude. Uh, we're going to talk to Ha Ha Tonka. Yeah. Are you familiar with this band? You should be. Here's like 30 seconds of Ha Ha Tonka. Guilty, she gonna pay the baddest apple. That little girl, oh, she likes to rock. Already forgot her daddy's one. for a long time. I have Tim has. They were in town recently, so we went and met up with them, and we asked them five questions. Five questions with Aha Tonka. What do you guys envy most about Jay-Z? His money? Probably Beyonce. Beyonce. His woman or his yeah. career? Beyonce. It's Beyonce. She's pretty hot. And the money's nice, too. I'd take the career. Just because you guys already took the others. <laughs> Slim pick of the Last pick of the tip, as they said. Is anyone here a member of the Coldplay Street team? This is what I got here. <laughs> yes, I'm Viva La B. It's out there. Who is more famous, Tim Conby or Kevin Mano? Wow. That's bad. I would say you know, Kevin Mano. Yeah. Sorry. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And who has a bigger ego? I was just high-fiving my popularity. <laughs> this one is for Luke. Luke, in how many states would you say that you have um, had intercourse in? This Y count? Yep, absolutely. It's a state. Yeah. 52. Yeah. <laughs> have you guys ever pooped in the ocean? Yeah, I've pooped in a lake. Yeah? Yeah. No, actually, I've pooped in the ocean too. Probably, 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 well, they probably once or twice. Okay. <laughs> I'm really glad you guys got to see us again. That was five questions with Hot Hot Tonka. Please check them out. They really are amazing. Uh, the website is right here. Go check it out. And Tim, uh, as far as the who's more famous thing is concerned, no, it's okay. How about we just call it a tie? Uh, speaking of ties. <laughs>